In today's video, 12 things we are expecting in 2024. Your ultimate tech roundup for the upcoming year. Hey, it's Camille, Nerdabetic, your diabetes tech guy. Type one for over 10, YouTuber for six. If you want my thoughts and updates on what's happening in diabetes space, make sure you subscribe down below. I would love to have you. Number one, Dexcom one, moving to the G7 wearable. Dexcom one is an affordable, accessible Dexcom G6 with limited software capabilities. I tend to call it the iPhone SE of Dexcom's product line. So it's the G6 sensor, you know and love, with less features. Most noticeably, it doesn't do any pump or pen integrations. Well, that Dexcom one is now upgrading to the G7 wearable. So they're moving that from G6 to G7 with simple all-in-one applicator we come to expect from a modern CGM. This is going to be huge, especially for primary healthcare providers who didn't quite understand the whole sensor and transmitter thing. One of my viewers sent me probably one of my best emails I've had in a long time, a photo of a box they received with 10 Dexcom 1 sensors and 10 Dexcom 1 transmitters. Phenomenal, actually. So with the G7 wearable, on Dexcom 1, that is not going to happen. So, good step forward. Number two, Roche's first ever brand new CGM, the SmartGuard CGM. It's launching next month in Florence at ATTD. We're expecting that to be one of the major announcements of this year's ATTD. We know nothing about this particular CGM. What I'm super excited is to see how Roche positions this. This is, I think, their last chance to really come back to the diabetes space in a meaningful way. They withdrawn from the pump space with tube pumps. The solo patch pump has not been very well received where it's been launched. And they, they haven't really touched the My Sugar app for years, it, they haven't done any updates to it. So this is really their opportunity to really make Roche big in diabetes space. Once again, I'm super interested to see what happens. Number three is Libre 3 Plus and Libre 2 Plus in the US. I've done a video here explaining problems Abbott had in the US with inaccurate sensors caused by high levels of vitamin C in someone's bloodstream, which resulted in FDA not allowing Libre to be cleared for use with hybrid closed loop systems. Updated Libres are called pluses, two plus and three plus, and they've eliminated those vitamin C problems. Two plus is already out, already working with Tandem's Control IQ, making Tandem first pump to work with both Dexcom and Libre in the US. We've already had that in Europe for quite a long time with the My Life Loop program with the Upso Pump and Dexcom and Libre Free. So it's great to see US catching up to interoperability in this way. Later this year, we expect in Libre 3 Plus to replace 2 Plus for Dexcom G7 integration with more pumps. We've already seen G7 integrate with Tandem's X2 T-Slim insulin pump in the US. Phase one is already well underway in the UK, phase two in progress. And I know of few people in the UK who already upgraded their existing X2 Tandem insulin pumps with latest software to work with G7 and European rollout continues. No word on when G7 will be integrated with other AID systems. The one we should be waiting for is Omnipod 5, but I'm hearing that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Number five, Dexcom Stello. Dexcom first ever CGM made specifically for people with type two diabetes. Stello is the G7 wearable, the one which Dexcom one is moving into, but with a 15 day wear time, not a 10 day wear time. It is disappointing to see Dexcom announce a 15-day sensor in this new space before announcing it 
for the existing G7 line, but they've had many problems with accuracy with G7, and from what I'm hearing, they will not extend wear time of G7 for a really, really long time. So um, don't get your hopes up on that one. Interesting to see how people with type 2 diabetes react to this uh, brand new concept with Dexcom Stello. Number six, I'm predicting legal dramas to continue in 2024. Obviously, we have the ongoing battle between Libre and Dexcom over who owns patents to calibration-free technology. That battle is set to finalize in courts in late 2024. So I'll be watching that one because it's a very, very interesting legal case. Number seven, Medtronic Simplera CGM rollout. Simplera is Medtronic's first all-in-one wearable. There are two versions of the Simplera CGM. One which works with the InPen SmartPen connected system, and one Simplera Sync which works with their pumps. At the moment, they have no plans to launch a standalone CGM based on Simplera. I'm expecting early rollout of Simplera in early 2024 with full launches across Europe and beyond in mid 2024. Number eight, Tandem Moby patch pump launch, already launched in the US. We are expecting significant rollout and hopefully some international rollouts later this year. This is the one to watch. I am so intrigued by this device. So many players have tried this format of a mid-house between Omnipod and a tube pump and failed. One thing to watch here is feedback from members of the community. This patch concept has always failed with leaky reservoirs and just the day-to-day -day usage problems. The advantage with Moby is that there is an option to attach to your clothing in the way a regular X2 would, and I think that would work spectacularly well. But once again, let's wait to hear what actual users have to say. Reminder, Moby was actually named one of Time's best inventions of 20 23. Nine is the relaunch of the Kaleido patch pump. Crazy small, colourful patch pump from the Netherlands is back. Following exit in 2020, they moved to a brand new state-of-the-art facility with a newly built clean room and they're hoping to be able to serve people with diabetes in a much better way with this new infrastructure. Kaleido is already out with Diaboloop and Dexcom G6 in France, Germany, and the Netherlands, and is coming to the UK and Italy in 2024. Diaboloop's algorithm is used by over 10,000 people across Europe. I love this French algorithm, and it's definitely wise decision to launch this patch pump with an AID from day one. Number 10, Eversense implantable CGM iCGM clearance. I'm expecting approval of the ICGM designation for the E3. This would mean this implantable CGM could work with insulin pumps. Not working with any pump these days is a massive barrier to any CGM player, especially something as unusual as an implantable CGM. So I ICGM designation will hopefully make a big difference. Number 11, some app updates for Omnipod 5. Obviously, Omnipod 5 was launched outside of the US already, including in the UK, but without any phone integration. I'm hoping to see some movement here from Omnipod, hopefully by middle of the year, to at least have the Android version working in Europe by the end of the year. And number 12, which is a bit of a wild card, is the next generation of Libre, what I'm calling Libre 4. The Libre 3 wearable, but measuring both glucose and ketones. Why is that important? Well, diabetes ketoacidosis is a significant concern to a lot of people. So being able to continuously measure your ketone level without having to finger prick to measure your ketone level or do a urine sample is a big deal. Abbott announced this in 2022 Pivotal trial started in 2023, and this sensor already received FDA's breakthrough designation, which means it should be cleared to approval faster, as it's a breakthrough device, first of its kind. 
I know DKA is a concern to a lot of you. So having a notification pop up on your phone when your ketone level is over a, a significant threshold, in not too distant future, possibly by the end of 2024, is a big deal. And I'm excited to see what this brings. So that's my 12 things happening in the diabetes tech space in 2024. I'm super excited to be on this journey with you all and seeing how all these things play out over the course of the year. Stay tuned because I will be doing a new series where I will be doing live interviews, live chats with various people in the diabetes space. Starting very soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. It means a lot. Hope you have a wonderful day and I see you at the next one. Cheerios.